An imposter nurse who at one time worked at BC Women's Hospital has been sentenced to seven years in prison in Ottawa. But Bridget Clarot's legal troubles aren't over. She's also accused of faking her credentials in BC, sparking a class action lawsuit. As CTV's Travis Prasad reports, it could take years for the investigation here to wrap up. Bridget Clarou spent weeks pretending to be a nurse at two Ottawa clinics, administering injections and treating at least a dozen patients, including a child. She was arrested in August and has just been sentenced to seven years in prison. It speaks to, as the judge said in his sentencing decision, um, the, the loss of integrity uh, in our health care system that this has caused, the violation of trust. The 50-year-old has a decades-long history of fraud and is also being investigated in B.C. So far, she faces charges of fraud and personation after allegedly using a real nurse's name to treat patients at B.C. Women's Hospital from June 2020 to June 2021. Lawyer Morgan Chandler represents 10 of her alleged victims. Some of them have been psychologically harmed, uh, physically harmed by the actions of this person, and they are they're looking for answers. Meanwhile, a separate class action lawsuit has been filed in B.C. Supreme Court against the Provincial Health Services Authority. To find out later on that, that one of my caregivers was not actually a caregiver at all was absolutely so violating. It could be some time before the police investigation into Clarou wraps up. Victims have two years to come forward to the authorities. For now, many questions remain. My clients are wondering how on earth was this allowed to happen? With time served, Clarou will spend five years and eight months behind bars. Her next court appearance for the charges here in B.C. is scheduled for next month. Travis Prasad, CTV News, Vancouver.